Hey what's up guys, it's Michael here from Remodeled Man and today I'm going to be showing you how to approach girls during the day. I'll be going over the common misconceptions of approaching and show you the proper way of doing it with infield examples. Comment any questions you guys have about game below and I'll be answering every single one of them. Make sure to subscribe and turn on notifications so you can keep up to date with all the new videos coming out. Let's get started. So one thing that's really surprising is the amount of false information out there about how to approach women in a daytime scenario. When I ask most guys how many girls stop for them, they usually say about 50%. But if you're approaching properly, only about 1 in 20 girls won't stop for you. And this is really important because you might only have a few opportunities per day to talk to a really attractive girl. And you want to be making the most out of it. I'm going to be breaking down three of the most common mistakes that you're probably making when you're approaching. First off, we have what's probably the most common but also the worst way to approach a girl in the daytime. This involves jogging or walking really fast, past the girl from behind, then stopping or even jumping in front of them. There are a few things wrong with this, but for starters, this often scares the girl because you're moving so quickly and aggressively in an environment where no one else is. Girls literally won't be able to tell if you want to talk to them or rob them. I've actually seen girls clutch their purse as a student tried to approach them like this. If you startle the girl, you're going to have to bounce back by calibrating and calming them down, which is just pointless trouble. It's also very flashy, meaning that the girl sees there's something out of the ordinary happening. So it looks like a routine you practice or kind of like something a salesperson would do and has been scripted. So she'll think you do this to all the girls. So definitely avoid this opener altogether. The second common mistake made when approaching is to walk with the girl if you don't really need to. There's a correct underlying idea behind this, which is to try to buy enough time to convey your attractive personality. But there's two fundamental issues with it, and for one, you have less opportunity to touch the girl or make strong eye contact, so you'll be missing out on building some attraction and comfort as a result of this. And for two, the girl will eventually arrive at her destination where sometimes you'll have to cut the interaction short early on. It's not as bad as the previously explained one, but still avoid walking with the girl unless she says she'll leave otherwise. The third and final mistake often made by guys is tapping the girl on the shoulder from the back or the side. Many girls are going to be uncomfortable with being touched by a completely random stranger, especially outside of a nightlife environment. So you'll be starting the interaction on a bad note. It's never necessary to tap a girl's shoulder in a daytime environment unless she's about to go through a door or something. Alright, let's dive right into the right way to approach a girl in the daytime in two different situations with infield examples. The most common situation you're going to be running into is the girl is walking, let's say on the street or in a mall, and you're going to want to catch up to her without jogging and walk past her, but don't make eye contact. You're looking to be about 2 meters in front of her and 1 meter to the side, which is going to give her room to stop without passing you when you open, while also making sure you don't startle her by being way too close to her. To stop her, you're going to make eye contact, say excuse me, wait for her to make eye contact back, and then immediately plant your feet when she does. It's very crucial that you don't plant your feet until she reciprocates eye contact. At this point, it's going to be rude for her to just ignore you because she doesn't know why you're there yet. So it's almost guaranteed that she's going to stop. Don't start talking until she's completely stopped. A lot of guys just blurt out their opener before they've even stopped the girl. And since they know you're there to flirt with them or make conversation, they feel way less rude walking away. Once a girl stops, she's way more invested in the conversation and less likely to leave. So that's why we start with excuse me because we're not asking her to do anything yet. The second situation is when the girl is standing still or sitting somewhere. Here you're going to simply want to walk into her vision outside of her personal space and just open. We're basically jumping to the final step of the previous method because she's already stopped. So it's pretty simple and just make sure not to do anything weird like jog into her vision or start with her. So that's all for the opening method. Now that you know what to do, go and try it out for yourself and you'll be amazed at how many more girls are going to be stopping for you and giving you a chance instead of just blowing you off right away. I hope you guys got a lot of value from this video. If you learned something new, don't forget to hit that like button and remember to subscribe and turn on notifications. As we have a new video coming soon that's going to show you how to get those girls that stop and talk to you on dates using the best tool for a day game. We're also offering free 30 minute coaching calls if you're serious about improving your game. 
Be sure to fill out the application in the description and you're going to be contacted if you're accepted. Boot camps are now available in your city as well. For more information, you can contact us at remodelman at gmail.com. Thanks for watching.